Today I'm going to show you how to start using the Life360 app, even if you're a complete beginner, from downloading it to all of the features. Let's jump in. Now I'm using an iPhone today, but this is available on the Android app as well. So you just want to go wherever you get your apps, and we're going to search for Life360 and start downloading that. Now, if you have not yet gotten the Life360 app, you can click the link in the description below to access that from there. All right, and then once that finishes downloading, we're gonna go to open. And then what we wanna do is we just wanna click on get started. And then it's gonna give you a code. We're gonna just add that. And then it's gonna ask you for some information. So we'll go Andy, Canode, continue. You just wanna add your birthday in here and then let's get started click continue and it's going to pop up here to joining a circle if you've already been sent an invitation to join somebody's circle you would add that in here if not you can do that later but we're just gonna get started here so first you can do a couple of different things you can add people if you have other people that you want to add to the circle or you can add things if you have like tracking devices on there so we're just going to go to creating a circle name so we'll just call it canode family click continue and this is the code that you'll give to other people so that they can be part of that all right and then you can click on i'm done sharing and then you can select who you are in this let's say i'm the dad okay you can add a photo if you want you could skip that and then this is where it's really important. You want to allow these permissions because this is the whole point of this is to be able to track where you're at and where others in your family or in your circle are at. So by allowing these permissions is really how to get the most functionality out of this app. So we're going to go allow permissions. And then you do have a couple options here to go allow while using the app. You can allow once, don't allow. We're just going to select that, allow while using the app. And then you can allow others to find you even when you're not in the app. So you can always change that. And then you can allow notifications so that it will uh, notify you when you have somebody in your circle. Allow there. You can allow it to find Bluetooth devices. So I have a couple of Bluetooth devices. So we'll allow that. And then you can add places that your family goes to on a regular basis. Okay. So let's say we have home and we're just going to go save you can always add them later and then here's where you'll sign up so you could start a free trial to be able to get started and then you can cancel anytime or you can go to the month to month i'm just going to say maybe later and we're going to stick with the free version for right now okay we're going to close out of there and so what this will do now on this interface is it's going to show you Everybody that's in your circle, where they're at, right now I just have me at home, but you could add like your work address, your, your kid's school address, grandparents, you can add those places so that it lists that out rather than just the address, right? And then you can add tags. So you could add, you know, for your pets or track your car keys. You can manage your places where you're adding more of those in there. And then you could check in so that we know, hey, this is where we've checked in. If you go down here in your circle and you can add a person, it'll give you the code again to send that to them if you wanna just share it with them through text or airdrop them. And I just wanna show you a little bit of the settings here. So you click up on the gear icon and then you're gonna to go to circle management. And here you can change the name of the circle, you can change your role if you have a different person. You can add circle members. Again, that'll give you the code that way. And then you can leave the circle. And then if you don't wish to share your location for briefly or an extended period of time, you just click on the settings, go to sharing location, and you can toggle that off so that your location is not being shared now. So you'll just come up as unable to find for other people in your circle. And then you have smart notifications. If you have other people in your circle, then you can add smart notifications so that you know if they get to someplace or they leave someplace or they start driving, things like that, it'll notify you of that. Right now, I don't have anybody else in my circle, so it doesn't give me that option. Now you can see we're looking at the circle, the Canode family, but if you click on the arrow up at the top there, you can create a new circle or join a circle from there if you've given that. So you could create another circle and say, friends and now you can toggle so now i have a different code to send to my friends group so that they could be in part of that circle 
Now, if you decide to stop using Life360 app, I'm gonna show you how to delete your account so that it's completely gone and nobody can access your account or any of the locations that you have saved in there. So what we're gonna do is just go to the account section in the settings. So we're just gonna to go to account and then you'll see down at the bottom here, delete account and it's gonna confirm that you have all, that you're sure you wanna do that. We click yes, confirm, continue. It's taking you to the web here and then it'll take you to your email and you'll just follow the instructions there to completely remove your account. And with that, you're up and using Life360. It's really a powerful tool to be able to uh, keep track of your family and your friends and, and know where everybody's at, especially if you have kids. And so with that, I hope this video was helpful for you and I will see you in the next one.